Hi, I am 20 months natural. I did it guys. I'm doing the banning method right now. This crazy style right here because it helps to stretch out my afro and I do not want to use the blow dryer to blow it out. So I'm doing this. You know what? Let me take this off real quick so I can show you guys my fro. Yes! Ta-da! So here is my fro. So I am 20 months natural guys I did it if I could do it you guys could do it I will be two years in a couple of months yes I'm really excited about going on this natural journey for the second time okay so you know natural hair I have to admit that you know I gotta tell the truth natural hair is very difficult to deal with because it's hard to style it and for it to come out good. I mean, it, you know, I love my natural hair. Don't get me wrong, really, seriously. But it's really difficult for me. This is why you see me with tons of buns, pony buns, silk, slick down ponytails because of that. It is difficult to deal with natural hair because if you want it to come out a certain kind of way, it's difficult. So this is why you always see Somebody said to me like this. one time, it was like, Vicky, why do you always rock puffs and pony buns? It's because of that. I mean, it's just, it's just easier for me. It's, it's easier, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I always wear my puffs and my pony buns and my slick down ponytail styles, because it's a lot easier for me. Now, I'm dying for my hair to get a lot longer, because I believe once my hair grows out and it's longer, I will be able to do a lot more different styles with my hair. My hair is just in between. It's not short, short, and it's definitely not long. It's just right in the middle, and when your hair is in the middle, it's a lot more difficult to deal with. Not for me, you know, not everybody. I see some ladies here on YouTube that have shorter hair than me or long, about my length and they know how to style that bad boy. They be doing all this fancy stuff. I'm like, wow, you ladies are good. Patience. That's awesome. I just can't do that. So anyway, <clears throat> my natural hair journey is going great. I am officially 20 months now. And I did it. If I could do it, ladies, you ladies can do it as well. It's not difficult to grow the hair out. And the way that I grow my hair out, you know, people want to know, how did you get your hair to grow from the little short dude to now? To tell you the truth, protective styling, keeping my hands out of my hair, not doing too much with it, it really helps to grow my hair out. Everybody's different. Some people's hair grow just doing by washing goes. You know, that's great too. Because, you know, when your hair is natural, water is your best friend. Unless you're trying to have a certain kind of a hairstyle and it happens to rain on that hairstyle, then there you go. But if you already have your hair wet and you're wearing wash and goes, it's awesome. When, you know, the water loves, it because water is moisture, it gives the hair moisture. So natural hair loves water. Hard to maintain natural hair. In my opinion, some of y'all may not agree, but I'm just talking in my opinion, from my perspective, from what I have to go through, <laughs> it's difficult. This is why I'm so thankful for weaves, for wigs, for braids, for, so, for sew-ins. There's so many different options that you can do for protective styling. Protective styling is number uno, number one for me. That's how I'm growing my hair out. That being said, I just wanted to come on and do this video on purpose just so that I could look back when I'm like four or five years natural and I could look back like, oh my God, remember this video I did on November 7th, 2016, that was 20 months and look at me now, three years later, look how long my hair is. Watch and see guys. So with that being said, later, bye, have a great day. Bye -bye.